Welcome to Microsoft Access Developer Level 30, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. Today's class is all about file input and output. We're going to learn how to work with text files. There's lots of reasons why, and I'll go over them in a few minutes. Today we'll be focusing on classic VB file input and output, reading and writing text files. In Developer 31, we're going to get into the file system object, which is a little more powerful and has some extra features. But I think it's important to learn classic VB file input output too because I still use it because it's a lot easier for basic stuff. This of course is developer level 30, so I recommend you have taken developer 29 and everything before it. For example, in developer 16 we learned record sets and in today's class we will be using record sets when we read in text files and we're going to add that data to a table. We'll use a record set to do that. So. Don't jump around, take the classes in order, please, for your own benefit. <laughs> I will be using Microsoft Access as part of a Microsoft 365 subscription, roughly equivalent to Access 2019. However, everything that I cover in today's class goes way back. So even if you've got Access 2003, it should still work just fine. This stuff hasn't changed in years. If you've got any questions regarding the material covered in today's class, just scroll down to the bottom of the page that you're on right now and post your questions there. Take a minute, read through any other questions that have been posted as your question may have already been answered. And make sure you click on that big red subscribe button and you'll get notified if any other questions or comments are posted for this class. And don't forget to visit the access form if you've got questions unrelated to today's class. All right, now let's take a closer look at exactly what's covered in today's lessons. In lesson one, it's an introduction to file input output, or file I.O. We're going to learn why you want to learn this stuff. We're going to learn the two different types of file I.O. There's classic VB, and there's file system object, which is newer. And then we'll learn the pros and cons of each. Lesson two is a free bonus lesson. One of my tech help videos showing how to import data from Microsoft Excel with CSV files and fixed with text files. It's a good foundation for what's coming next. Lesson three is another free bonus lesson from my tech help videos. This one's a members only extended cut for the previous video where I show you how to import directly using VBA. So it's a preview of what's gonna be coming up in the rest of today's class. We're going to learn file IO to read in a text file that's larger than two gigabytes, which is larger than the access maximum. In lesson four, we're going to start from the beginning with classic VB file input output. We're going to learn how to write out a text file, open, output, print, close, append commands. We'll talk about what folders you can write to, what folders you have access to write to. The current project.path to get the folder that the database is in. We'll learn about free file, how to use the shell command to open up notepad to view your exported text file as soon as it's exported. We'll learn how to loop through the controls on a form so you can export all of the text box data, for example, from one form. We'll export customer data, a customer list, and an, we'll export an invoice with all of its line item details. In lesson five, we are continuing with classic VB file IO. This is part two. We're going to learn how to read text files. We're going to learn how to open a file for input, read in lines of text using the line input command. We're going to learn how to read in multiple lines, reading to the end of file. Then what we'll do is we'll take the customer data that we exported in the last lesson and learn how to read it back in. So we can send that file to someone else, like a sales rep. They can update the information. Then you can read back in their responses right into their customer record in the database. Then I'll show you how to send out and read survey responses. So you can send out a survey to your customer. They email it back to you, copy and paste it into your database, and then boom, export it as a text file, read it back in line by line, save the responses in your table. Lots of cool stuff in this lesson.